Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, November 6th, 2016. Holy shit, dude, I gotta start my fucking Christmas shopping. You know what? You actually should at this point. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it be great to just think of every fucking goddamn person out there that you gotta buy for? Not, not your kids, all right? You love your kids. Not your dog. You love your dog, Right? What else is there? It's your kids and your dog. That's what it is, right? You love your wife too, but you know, you know how it is, right? Wouldn't it be great if there were, you could just fucking go, just get it all fucking done. Just call in sick one day. You know exactly where you want to go. You know, fuck, give me one of those. Give me fucking like a Dunkin' Donuts. Give me uh, two fucking uh, jellies, a fucking powdered sugar, fucking two glazed and a curler. All right, except it's gifts, you know, and then you just have the lady down there wrap them for you, the whole fucking, I mean, nice gifts, though, nice, thoughtful shit for like 10, 15 fucking people, but you just knock it out in four hours, right? Then you take these fake hay fever pills and you walk into work like, oh, God, I just woke up. <laughs> uh, I'll be all right. I'll be in my cubicle. Whatever. And you did the whole fucking thing is done, all right? And then you can just sit there and chill. Two things you should fucking do. I would, this is why I'm actually talking out loud to myself, and I'm not mad if you're listening. All right? <laughs> Two things you got to do. You got to do fucking cardio right through the new year, because you know you're going to eat and drink like a fucking pig. You know it's happening. All right? You know it. It's the end of the year. You know what I mean? You get those few days off, and you just start thinking, what if we just always had days off, and everybody just fucking cooked, and you fucking drank, and nobody gave a shit, and there wasn't anything to do the next day, you know? That wonderful feeling of actually living life while enjoying it, as opposed to looking in dread at your fucking watch as, as, as the next fucking Monday is coming, you know? So if you can just somehow knock it out, you know what I mean? Knock it out before the animals show up, you know? I mean, it's just fucking, it all starts on Black Friday, and then it just becomes fucking just bad fathers, and I don't know what, into December and all of that shit. So you knock that out, you do your half hour of cardio every fucking day, you go for a walk, whatever the fuck you do, eat a salad or some shit. Just do something, you know? So, you know, as I'm sitting here drinking a fucking Miller High Life doing this fucking podcast, um... I should do that. I should make a fucking list in my head right now. All the nieces and nephews, what do they want? How old are they? Bing, bang, boom. I don't like that internet shopping, though, you know? You just go on Amazon, you just go around just clicking shit. Some reason, it's not as fucking cool. Um, I actually found it, accidentally found this really cool toy store. Of course, I was going out to a bar. (laughs) And it was closed and everything, but it actually had, like, wooden toys, like cars and shit like that, like, uh, you know, the way they used to make them. They didn't even make them that way when I was a kid. I remember my dad said that, Christ, this is cheap shit. When I was a kid, Christ, this, it was made out of metal and wood, and the, the tires were real rubber, right? And our shit was all fucking plastic and God knows what else. You put it in your mouth, and next thing you know, you, you were bad at math, and you couldn't read out loud. So you had to start telling jokes. That's what happened. Everything, I was born during a fucking time when any fucking toy when you were a kid, if you were the little kid going through the oral stage, you know, where they just stick their whole fucking hand in their mouth, all your little brothers and shit, every fucking toy you had, if they put it in their mouth, that was it, you know? They went from an A student down to a B student, and then they had all the colorful cereals with all that fucking shit in it. They had fluff, peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. We Man, it was just fucking, it was a sugar coma. Um... Oh, and I got to tell you, it was great. Oh, Jesus Christ. You need to fluff another sandwich, then you put on the banana splits or the monkeys, you know, with the whole influence of the acid generation. It's a good time. Um, 